In this video, we will discuss how the constraint region is implemented in Allegro PCB Editor. Primarily, you need to know what a constraint region is. A constraint region is an area on a layer of a board in which a specific net follows some particular rules. Outside the constraint region, that net does not obey the same rules. To demonstrate the whole thing, consider a signal net with a line width of 8 mils. If you pass that net over a BGA with a 0.8 millimeter pitch and an air gap of 15.5 mils between two pads, the remaining clearance on the two sides of the pad will be around 7.5 mils. Each side will have a gap of 3.75 mils, which is less than the recommended standard of 5 mils. Hence, you have to reduce the line width to 5 mils and the remaining space on both sides will be 5.25 mils. In this demo, rules are imposed on a signal named normal underscore sig. The signal follows a minimum line width of 8 mils and a spacing of 10 mils. In the BGA section, these design rules cannot be imposed. Therefore, you have to define a constraint region with suitable rules that will be followed only in the BGA region. To regulate a new set of rules, first go to physical and then all layers. Click on DSN. Create a new physical C set by right clicking on DSN and define it with a suitable name. You can set the rules for line width and spacing according to your design requirement. For this design, the created region is named BGA. The line width is selected to 5 mils. There is no differential pair, and adopted via is VIA18H8. Similarly, you can set the clearance rules by going into the spacing section and opening all layers under the spacing constraint set. As explained earlier, here the spacings are set to 5.25 mils for all electrical objects, except for hole to any element. Hole to any element spacing is set to 8 mils since while drilling we cannot go below 8 mils. To create a region, just open region and then all layers. Right click on DSN and create a new region with a proper name. For now, it is RGN1. This region will follow specific rules. To choose the rules, you can open Referenced Physical C Set that contains the defined rule sets of all the layers. You can pick one from them and apply it to that particular region. For this board, select BGA. The region will automatically take all the values of the preset rule set. That is how we create a room and assign rules for the same. Here, we have already created the region and assigned the name as BGA underscore zero underscore eight M M. The constraint region has been created from the region section, but the defined region is available in other sections, like the spacing section. The created region will be reflected in all sections. The name of the rule only changes as it is specific to a particular section, whereas the region remains unchanged for all the sections. Once done, you save the assigned settings and changes, and exit from the constraint window. You can see the recently created region in the pink box. This is called Shape Constraint Region All. If you delete this region, errors will pop up since this particular IC is so small that it cannot obey the default board design rules. Specifically for this part you have to set all the rules with small values. To add a region, open Shape on the right side top and click on Shape Add Rect and select the constraint region from the section Active Class or Subclass. You can see all the layers of the design board and select the particular where you want to make these rules to be imposed. In this circuit board, all is selected. Move to the Assign Region section by clicking on the three dots on the right side. You can pick the defined region. Here it is BGA underscore zero underscore eight MM. The next step is to draw the rectangle on the specific region. 
as soon as you place the box on the region, the errors disappear, and that part will follow all the rules defined in BGA underscore zero underscore eight MM in the constraint manager. To route the trace, first select the Add Connect under the Route option. Go to Options and choose the constraints by clicking on the line and start routing. The particular net, which is the starting point of routing, follows the default line width of 8 mils. As you start routing, you can see the line width automatically changes just after entering the constraint region. It will be 5 mils in this section. We have demonstrated how to set up a constraint region for line width in Allegro. Sierra Circuits has advanced tools to calculate the right trace width corresponding to a specific temperature and current carrying capacity. You can find these tools on our website. Hope this proves beneficial to you. Thank you.